everyone, I'm Joyce the Dentist and today I'm going to talk to you about tartar on your teeth. Tartar, or as us dental professionals call it, calculus, but not the math kind of calculus, is a hard rock-like buildup that sticks to your teeth. Now, here's the reason why calculus is such a bad thing. It's like an iceberg. What you see is actually way bigger and way worse below the surface. Above the gums, you might just see a little bit of tartar, if any. Below the gums, tartar can get pretty big. Why does that matter? Well, it gets in between your teeth and the tissues around your teeth that hold your teeth in place. Tartar can be yellow, brown, or even black. Sometimes it might even have a green tint to it. The more tartar buildup there is, the more gum and bone detachment you have to worry about. That's why it's so important to clean tartar off your teeth regularly before bone loss and periodontal infections start to develop. If you wait too long, you're left facing issues like bad breath, bleeding and receding gums, loose teeth, and ultimately tooth loss. So the best thing to do is to prevent tartar buildup in the first place. How do we do that? By disrupting the plaque in your mouth because the soft, sticky plaque is what actually turns into tartar. The good news is that plaque is soft so you can remove it with a toothbrush and floss by cleaning your teeth every day. As long as you floss at least once a day and brush twice a day, you'll remove a majority of the plaque. When plaque gets disrupted, it doesn't have a chance to calcify and turn into tartar. But if it sits there too long, typically about 24 hours, give or take, depending on the person, it will calcify and voila, tartar. The next thing you can do to prevent tartar is to schedule regular dental cleanings. No matter how good you are at brushing and flossing, there will be at least a little bit of buildup in some hard to reach areas of your mouth. An example of some hard to reach areas are the backs of your teeth, around a rotated tooth, or maybe even underneath an orthodontic wire retainer that's bonded to your teeth. Even those that work in the dental industry get a little tartar here and there. The important thing is that we're preventing the majority of it with good oral hygiene and then scheduling regular dental cleanings to have the leftover tartar professionally removed. For most people, you want to plan to have your teeth cleaned professionally at least once every six months, but it really depends on the person. Some people need to get their cleanings done even sooner than every six months because every person is so different your dental team will give you recommendations on how soon you should get your cleanings. As long as you have great oral hygiene and are flossing every day, this keeps your mouth as healthy as possible. But what happens if you leave tartar on your teeth and you don't get it cleaned off? Well, as I mentioned before, it starts to build up across the roots of your teeth and the heavier it gets, the more damage there is to your smile. Since brushing and flossing doesn't reach that far below your gum line, this gradual buildup can turn into a nightmare for your mouth. Chances are your gums will start to get swollen bleed and begin to recede and expose your tooth roots and you'll get chronic bad breath. At that point, cleaning above your gums or rinsing with mouthwash isn't going to help anything. The only thing that's left is to see your dentist for a specialized procedure known as a deep cleaning. Deep cleanings remove all of that heavy tartar buildup and give you a new blank slate to work with. A lot of people ask, can you remove tartar on your own? At home, for example? Unfortunately, no. While some companies tout products that supposedly remove tartar from your teeth, these tools are extremely dangerous to use at home, as in they can cause permanent damage to your teeth and gums. And truth be told, they aren't going to remove all of the buildup because you have to have specialized tools to reach underneath the gums. There's no way for you to know how much, where, or how deep the tartar is without a set of dental x-rays and a physical exam with your dentist. The good news is that your dentist has specialized instruments that can safely and thoroughly remove all all of the buildup off your teeth. And if they need to, they can even numb your teeth to clean areas with heavy buildup and infection, which is really what you want. From there, you can go back to scheduling regular checkups and cleanings to help maintain your smile between visits. If you haven't had a cleaning in a long time, now is the time. Leaving tartar on your teeth means those bacteria are constantly expanding and building more areas of tartar, even if you can't see them. By the time you experience symptoms of gum disease, tartar removal becomes a much bigger ordeal. Every month you put your checkup and dental cleaning off is a little closer to you getting gum detachment and bone loss around your teeth. All of that to say, talk to your dentist and plan to have your teeth cleaned at least twice a year or whatever works for your mouth. If it's it's been longer than that, your dental team will help you get your smell back on track. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!